Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again. Or I, I say good morning just as a knee-jerk response because it's morning when I'm recording these. But you may not watch it till evening, so whenever you're watching this, it's good to be with you. Um, this morning on the news, I was watching the NBA, the results of the NBA draft, and I was struck by, uh, as they interviewed some of the guys, I was struck by how they talked about how long they had worked and how hard they had worked to get to the place where they had been able to be drafted into the NBA, that it had been a dream of their whole life, but the cost that it had been to their life and how hard they had worked to get where they were at. And uh, I, it made me think about a verse. <laughs> you know, it's like every everywhere I look, everything I do, I, you know, when you've studied the Word of God as long as I have, and that sounds bragging, I don't mean it that way, but I've spent a lot of time, you know, studying the Word of God over the years, and verses come to mind all the time as I see things or look at things, and, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, we're supposed to be connected to the Word of God in that way. But anyhow, this this word from Ecclesiastes came to, to my mind, so I looked it up. I could remember the verse. I couldn't remember the reference. But it's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. And it says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. For there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. So, the, the, But the basic thing about it is, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. In other words, whatever, you, whatever you're going to do, do it the best that you can do it. And I think it even goes... A little further than just giving it your best I think it means doing it the best you can not just physically but emotionally mentally spiritually in other words the best that you as a person are capable of doing whatever your hand finds to do it's worth doing the best you can do uh, you know I, I, I hate the term well that's good enough you know it, it's good enough it's it's all right it's good enough uh, one of the things I appreciated about Samaritan's Purse when we were down there, they in their in their orientation, in their opening orientation, they said, we're working on other people's houses. We're trying to help bring them back from the devastation that they went through. And they said, the term, it's good enough, is not in our vocabulary. We're going to do the best that we're capable of doing. And I thought, you know, that's the way God's people should be. Not just is it the right way to do things. If you're at work, if you're working today, and as you're, as you're watching this, I hope you're not taking time away from work to watch this because that means you're not doing the best you can do at work. When we do a job for an employee, an employer, we should do it the best that we can possibly do it. You say, well, I'm not getting paid that much. Doesn't matter. If you're a Christian, the Bible says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it the best you can. Can. Because what that does is that creates a witness, that creates a testimony of character. And it's a character that will stand out in today's society. And people will wonder, what is it? And then we can say, you know, this is what the Bible teaches me I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be the best that I can be in everything that I do. Um, we don't always achieve that. I don't always achieve that. <clears throat> but that's to be our goal. That's to be what we strive for. So today, as you're going through your routine, as you're going through your day, I hope you'll you'll look at things and say, am I doing the best that I can do? Am I being the best that I can be? When people look at me, do they see somebody that's exceptional in the way they're trying to to do the, the responsibilities that we've been given? And if so, why are they trying so hard? And then we get the opportunity to say, because God words, God's word tells me that I'm supposed to give the best that I can give as a testimony to him. Well, my time is gone. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I hope it's a day that's just filled with blessing. Looks like it's going to rain here in West Virginia today. Um, but uh, that's part of it, too. That keeps everything pretty and green. Hope you have a great day. If this has been an encouragement to you, uh, share it with somebody. If you're watching this on, on YouTube, hit subscribe. And uh, all the every, every video that I've done is there on YouTube. So uh, I hope you have a great day. And we will talk to you later. God bless you.